And I'm back again after this terrible week in America. If you've been following following the news even a little bit, then uh, you've heard about all the uh, police shootings and and shooting that at the police. Uh, and and some of it actually ties back into my uh, uh, gun debate video I posted two weeks ago. My 45 minute rant, as I call it. Uh, so, like, uh, in Dallas, where uh, the, they had the, the sniper shoot about a dozen people. Five of them were police officers, and those five died, which is, which is so tragic. The police now are saying that it was just one person who did it, not two, and he's dead. They blew him up with a robot, <laughs> which is uh, pretty bizarre, but it worked, so. <laughs> so in my gun argument video, I question why civilians need big guns like assault rifles and machine guns. Uh, do, do people think that a bigger gun will kill people better? I don't know, but, but uh, I don't see a reason for civilians needing those type of guns, and I don't see a reason why why civilians need sniper rifles. What else are you going to use a sniper rifle for if you're not on the rooftop shooting people? There's, there's really no other uh, reason to use a sniper rifle. And in my gun video, I made a, a comment about police officers shooting black people, uh, uh, but I, I just want to go on record saying that I'm against killing cops and, and killing uh, only brings more killing. It, it doesn't bring uh, peace or, or uh, or, or solves any problem. It, it's just bad. And then there was the two videos of police killing uh, t two black people, two black men. Uh, Philando Cassini. I'm, I'm probably mispronouncing that. And then Alden Sterling. Uh, I think those are their names, uh, but, and I have seen the videos and they're really sh shocking and disturbing, which, you know, any video of a person being shot would be shocking and disturbing. Uh, but the, there is one part of the uh, Philando, Car Car sorry, I'm, I, I'm mispronouncing his name. He has a very cool name. I, I like it. But the, the, um, video of the traffic stop that was, uh, streamed on Facebook. Uh, I noticed one part of that video where the cop is pointing his gun at a Philando who he just shot four times uh, and uh, the cop seems really upset and really afraid. He just shot his arm off 
We got pulled Mom, over on Larpener. I told him not to reach for it. I told him to get his hand out. He had, you told him to get his ID, sir, and his driver's license. Oh my God, please don't tell me he's dead. Please don't tell me my boyfriend just went like that. Which doesn't make any sense why the cop would be afraid of a guy he just shot four times. But he, that's what he sounds like to me, and and I think that just uh, plays into more of my, uh, of the argument that I made that that you need to be afraid to buy a, a gun and or be afraid to use a gun. I personally believe that's why the cop used it, the gun, his gun. Uh, cause he was uh, afraid of, of the black guy at, who said he did have a gun. And as soon as he made a movement, uh, the cop thought he, he was going for his gun. And the cop had no reason to be afraid, especially after he shot him. What, do you think that he was becoming a zombie? No, there's no reason whatsoever. And I can do a whole another 45 minute video, video on this. Maybe I will in the f future, but, but I just wanted to talk about uh, th these things and recent events that connect back to what I said in my uh, my video. And if, if you haven't seen the video I'm talking about, you can, you can go check it out. I'll, I'll put a link uh, around here somewhere in case you have 45 minutes to, to spare. But anyway, uh, I just wanted to do like a quick uh, update video. But I am am trying to move out of my parents' house. I have been looking online at apartments and, and also writing down names and phone numbers of other apartments. I see uh, just driving to to work or driving around town that they say they have open uh, availability. There is this one apartment. Uh, it's not too far from where I work. Uh, and there's an open house this Tuesday that I'm going to go to and check it out and ask questions about it. Uh, on line, it said it was six seventy five a month and it doesn't seem like utilities are included, but I'll ask them uh, at the open house. And uh, I got in to see my therapist this week and he, he and I kind of went over my budget, uh, my monthly budget, kind of uh, estimated it. And now it seems like, like, um, I can't afford to live on my own. Well, no, not completely anyway, because if, if I have rent and then I have food and groceries and then I have car insurance uh, and my phone bill and a couple other monthly charges, seems like at the end of the month I have almost nothing left over. Uh, even with working a full-time job that pays almost ten dollars an hour and like with my phone I uh, I, I left my family plan so now I have my own plan and I'm paying for it 
on my own. But after talking with my phone company, it, it, uh, it seems like it would have been a lot cheaper on my family plan than uh, paying for it myself. I, I think there are a couple ways I could make it cheaper, but it's still going to be like uh, over $50 a month, where on my family plan it would have been like half that, a little bit more. So, so you know, I want to become more responsible and more dependable on uh, on my own but now it's like it would be uh cheaper and easier to not be but i really need to sit down and do a real budget uh, uh about my uh, but i really need to sit down and do a do an actual budget uh, for all my expenses not just like do uh, an estimation on it but but like I did with my therapist but it, it seems like I can't afford an apartment that's more than 700 a month I'm making roughly twelve hundred dollars a month from my job uh, about that six hundred is half my income but I really haven't been able to find any apartments that are less than 650 a month uh, where I live and if I move out of town to a, a cheaper uh, a cheaper city, then I gotta spend more money on gas to get to work. So, it's, so I'm not really saving much more money if I'm spending it somewhere else. So, <laughs> yeah, all this stuff is adding up, and and then taking money away from me. I, I do have a lot of money saved from my other jobs, which is good, but I kind of want to save that for like emergencies only, or maybe fund a movie uh, that I make. Use it for something uh, something big rather than just everyday expenses. That's what I want to do with the money. Uh, I guess I just got to keep looking, hopefully find something that I can f afford. I mean, the good news is that at my job, I am eligible for small raises after I work uh, a certain amount of hours. It is small, like less than a dollar, and yeah, I think you have to work like 500 or so hours. So that's a little bit of good news, but still, still gotta keep my expenses down as much as I can. So yeah, life can be ironic sometimes. And... I don't know if I should say that after I was just talking about uh, the deaths of seven people at the beginning of this video. So, so yeah, <laughs> that, yeah, that's really all I have to say. And, and until next video, see ya. Hello again. I just had one more thing I forgot to say in the video, and that is the Dallas Police Department uh, was making good strides in working with the community and bringing down uh, complaints against the police department. 
so this sniper attack makes even less sense. Not that it made sense before, but the Dallas Police Department was doing good work with the community, and that's all. Goodbye.